back to the channel guys hope everyone's doing well so with meshcore well and truly up and running now it's even more easier to get meshcore up and running on android and ios devices there is now a better alternative to use the meshtastic so one of the biggest questions I'm getting asked at the moment is what's the point in Meshcore? Meshtastic have released 2.6 now, um, so there's no difference. Why should I just use Meshcore instead of Meshtastic? Well, I wanna get some things clear because Meshcore is nothing like Meshtastic. And just fixing DMs does not make Meshtastic anything like Meshcore. One of the biggest benefits to Meshcore is its ability to be able to set manual paths. So on Meshtastic, if you send a message out, you don't really know where your packets are gonna end up. With Meshcore, you can actually program in a proper path. So for example, you can tap on this little icon here and you can say, I wanna route through that repeater, that repeater, and that repeater, go. And it will only use those repeaters to make the contact. On Meshtastic, it's anyone's guess where the packets are gonna end up. And in complex geographical terrains, the flood routing method that Meshtastic uses is quite compromised. Now, I would actually quite like to do a side-by-side -side comparison, Meshcore versus Meshtastic, and I think I will do it at some point, but at the moment it's quite difficult because quite a lot of the UK has already gone over to Meshcore. <laughs> and bearing in mind, the project has only been going less than three months. It's been really great to see you guys jump on board this and show us the support you have, so thanks for that. Another great thing about Meshcore is the community. Everybody's friendly, everybody's kind to each other. We've got a great bunch of developers who listen and actually pay attention to any bugs reports and just get things fixed. You won't find any trademark nonsense talked about on there. So Meshcore has a super slick interface. It works on Android and iOS. It's the same app on both. They look exactly the same. There's no janky different version for iOS. The experience is continuous across both platforms. So it's also got the path in we talked about. You can manually set your path. So there's no need to kind of worry about when I send a message out, where is it actually getting to? You can define paths for your own repeaters if you want to do that. We've got a great community. Everybody's cool and just loves to to chat about this stuff we're all hobbyists at the end of the day also the speed of development of this project has really blown my mind it's not down to me it's down to the people that are contributing to it it just seems like it's lit a spark in some of the developers on this look i mean already we've got support for pretty much all of the main devices that you'd want to use this for so if you haven't already why not give meshcore a try when you do the testing remember to use comparable setups to what you'd use with meshtastic otherwise you might find you know inferior performance we've seen this before some people tried to put up a smaller antenna when they're big ones left on Meshtastic and say, oh, the performance is not as good. So make sure you use a like-for-like -like setup so you can get a true result of the test. And I think you'll be very impressed. For example, if we just look at my Meshcore app here, go into channels, see that there's 26 public channel messages. And if you look at this, this is actually a conversation you can follow. No more of these random messages that are just like, what's going on? And the main reason is we're not actually using like kind of managed flood. We're actually using pure flood, which is a lot better better for areas where the terrain is quite complex. So yeah, you can see here, the conversation just flows, everybody's participating, it's a bit like a chat room, and it's so snappy as well. Also, because Meshcore is designed to be very stealthy on the airwaves, it doesn't transmit a lot, so it won't transmit lots of kind of telemetry packets and battery voltages that you're not interested from, you know, 50 kilometers away, seeing someone's repeater is kind of just about to run out of battery. That's not interesting to most people. So that's why it doesn't show by default on here. That's not to say you can't get that information if you want to. Like for example, my repeater here, Hartford Yagi, we can actually just sign into that and retrieve the information. It's not running off battery, so that's why it says zero. But there's some metrics from the uh, repeater itself. So I hope that's given you a bit of insight into the differences, the main differences between Meshtastic and Meshcore. And yeah, go and find out for yourself and let me know how you get on. Um, I'll leave links to the Discord down below so you can join that, come and join in the chat. And of course, I'll be in the comment section of this video answering any questions. And um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions for the project as well, obviously GitHub is probably the best place to do that, but you can you know, fire these questions anywhere and it all people will see them. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Catch you next time time.